Jim Howe, Richard Bailey. We got to talk about him for a second. He comes out and beats Ryan Martin in the first round when all Ryan needed was one round win. Then he races Kai Kelly in the second round. Kai Kelly would have had to go on and make it to the finals, win the entire event to have a shot at winning the championship, which I mean, sounds difficult at the start, but like looking at him and how often he's made it to the finals, it isn't as difficult for him as compared to other drivers. And so you might be thinking Kai Kelly's going to go on a run here, make it to the finals and potentially win the whole championship, steal it from Ryan Martin when all he had to do was win one round. Jim Howe knocks him out in the second round as well. Like, Jim Howe, the God Slayer right now. Like, what would you even call him? He goes out and takes out the top two guys. And did they even finish the race? Because I saw people were posting and posting about the rounds and stuff. But then, oh, wait, Jim Howe won the Invitational. I had only seen up to the, actually, I went to bed. (laughs) Then I checked earlier and I didn't see anything. I thought they had split it in the semifinals. My bad. I I was mistaken for that. But Jim Howe won the whole thing? Hats off to Jim Howe, dude. We were just talking about him in No Prep News a couple of weeks ago, how he won an event, and then he made it to, like, the quarterfinals and semifinals, and he might have made it to another finals. I'm not positive about that, though. But he was doing very good in the second half of the season. And we're like, yo, Jim Howe, he's a guy right now. And you look at the cars, and like we were saying, it's like the name at first when you hear the name, compared to all the other names in Strialis, you might think it's unexpected to see him there. But then when you look at the level of car he's got, you're like, yeah, of course he was there. And then in the final race, he beats Ryan Martin in the first round, when all he needed was one round win to win the championship. Then he beats Kai Kelly in the second round, who would have had to, would have needed to win the entire event to win the championship. And then he goes on to actually win that event itself. That is insane. I can, like Rob Johnson, you just said right there, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with next year. I can't wait. Like I'm already so excited for next season. No prep Kings. Cause like with this final race, we've instantly just got new contenders out of nowhere. I mean, you could say out of nowhere. I mean, I, like I, you could say out of nowhere. Cause I think people are going to look at Jim Howe with his performance with this last race and say, he's going to be a guy that can win the championship next season just because of how he performed in this final race. You've obviously got Ryan Martin and Kai Kelly's being contenders for the very top. Just outside of them, the next tier down, I would say you got Swanstrom and Lizzie Musi. Then outside, I mean, like, I think the next two names going into that group of these are the ones that have a 100% legitimate chance of winning the whole thing would be Caleb Morton and Jim Howe. And it's because of their performances with these past couple of races. Dude, man, I can't wait to see next season, no prep Kings. But again, shout out Jim Howe. I mean, I honestly, I was thinking about I'm like with Ryan Martin going out in the first round, I wonder if like Kai Kelly draws other people besides four or five guys, if they, you know, maybe give him an easy race or just like kind of, you know, let him win the rounds. But I was thinking about, I'm like, no, there's still like $40,000 on the line. So these guys are still going to be trying. Jim Howe showed up, kicked Kai Kelly and Ryan Martin, both in the teeth, won the whole event. Dude, what an insane night for Jim Howe, the God slayer for no prep Kings right now. And will definitely be a contender in next season, a hundred percent.